What's up guys, it's Victoria from Under Victoria's Spell and in today's video I'm going to be talking about my August reading wrap up. August was such a good reading month for me. I'm very excited to talk about all the books. I mean I had a lot of four and five star reads. I'm very excited to talk about these books so I'm going to hop right into it. <laughs> Okay, so the first thing is I read seven books, which is pretty good. It's kind of my average right now, especially working a full-time and a part-time job. So I feel like the that was pretty good. So I'm going to start out with the first book that I read, and that is Wrecked Palace by Catherine Cowles. This is book three in the Wrecked series. I loved this one. It's probably my favorite thus far in the Wrecked series. I gave it five stars. This follows our heroine who I knew I would really love her story because she is like a true hopeless romantic. She is bubbly. It sees the positive in things. I really enjoyed that about her character. She is um, kind of a manager slash owner of this little cafe inside of a grocery store in this small town and she also has custody of her three siblings so you kind of get to see her being in her 20s in her job and raising these three kids and I really love her outlook and her positivity and seeing her with these kids I think it was so beautiful and so amazing and then we have our hero who is Griffin and he is the recluse of the town, kind of like the black sheep. But what I really appreciate him is that he's very kind-hearted and teddy bear at the center of it. So um, Griffin hires her to be his personal chef. And so that's kind of how they get interconnected. And he is very just protective of her because he's seen her over all these years be, you know, just kind and raising these kids and he really admires her so he's very protective of her and I love their friendship and how he really takes these kids under his wing and he has such a tragedy that he has dealt with in his life so to see how he handles that is just beautiful I love their story I thought their chemistry was off the charts loved it and the suspense aspect to this was amazing I really really loved it and I think this is one of my favorites by Catherine Cowles so far I highly suggest this one if you love a found family story if you love romantic grumpy sunshine and just some really good wholesome small town moments this was a great one and the next one that I picked up, I went from Small Town to Taboo Spice, and that is Antihero by Sarah Kate. This is book one in her new series, and I was very excited and a bit nervous for this one because this is kind of like taboo and when you're dealing with religious things, and so I was a little nervous because I have actually never read a book like this before. And I ended up giving it four stars. I enjoyed it. I thought it was very good. And it definitely ripped the band-aid off in this taboo-ist world for me. And I'm very intrigued to see the rest of the stories as well. This follows the oldest son in this family as he has done everything to be perfect in his father's eyes to lead this church. His father is the pastor over this church. And he has done everything perfect to be like him and really in the beginning I loved how he viewed his passion for life and what he was doing you could tell it was genuine for him and then he catches his father in a questionable situation and pretty much his eyes have just been opened up to the entire world that everything is not as it seems and of course he meets this girl and completely nothing at all what he envisioned for himself or the type of person that he would hang out with so it is very bad girl meets good guy corrupting the good boy and making him bad but I loved this relationship because she really 
wasn't changing him, just opening him up to the things that he already wanted and needed for him as a person. And I really love that. Their story was very good. I love their banter. It is fake dating, um, kind of like OnlyFan-ish. It's good. It's spicy. It is definitely a revenge romance. Very good. Four stars. I cannot wait to see what the next brother and their stories entail. And the next book that I read was my buddy read that I do with Autumn and Erica. It was my month to pick and I chose Beyond the Thistles by Samantha Young. This book had been on my radar because it's small town, love small town, and it's romantic suspense. So I was like, okay, what I want, and I always want everybody to read small town romance. So I was like, this will be great. So I ended up giving this three and a half stars. This is my lowest rated book of the month and it still wasn't bad. Overall, it's a good, okay romance. It's not my favorite romance I've ever read. It's not something that I hated. I think it's right there in the middle. So this really follows our heroine as she is a single mom and she's kind of on the run in a different country working for this hotel. And she is running from the father of her daughter. And really this whole story is just following the people that are after her and her protecting her daughter and then she kind of is forced to enlist this bodyguard and coworker of hers to protect her. My issues with this story was I felt like she came on way too strong. Like we get it off right from the beginning that she's like obsessed with our hero and like wants to sleep with him. And I don't know, I just didn't find that like charming or like didn't really like that that she was needy and whiny from the beginning and that kind of was like turning me off to her as a character and then we have our hero who is like supposed to protect her but he really is just grumpy and I don't know I just did not feel their chemistry emotionally throughout the story sexually they were like on fire that it was great spicy scenes but like emotionally I just don't see that they would be a couple that would work out in the long run like they are not your OTPs the OGs in game couple but I mean overall the story was good I felt like it was all over the place at times but overall, it was a good story. It had me intrigued. I read it in two days. I mean, it had my attention because I had to know what was going on. But will I continue in the series? I'm not for sure. This is the first time I've read a book by this author. I want to give the author another chance to see if maybe it's just this book I couldn't get into. But yeah, it was pretty good. I know that Erica and Autumn, I believe, rated it higher than me. So, um, and I'm the one that loves small towns. I cannot wait to see their reviews and thoughts on it. Okay, and the next three books I'm talking about are all in the same world, and two of them are novellas. The first one is That One Not by Emily Wraith, or Wrath, I forget how you say her last name, and I saw this on Jess from Peace Love Books channel talking about this novella and the book, and I was like, oh, this sounds good. Uh, it's a hockey romance, One Not Stand, and like strangers i was like okay okay i'm gonna check this out the novella was one of the best novellas i think i've ever read it was pure smut and i soaked it up like it was so good we are following our heroine as she has left her brother's day after wedding brunch to go drink at this hotel and then we meet our hero who is at the bar meet waiting for his sister who doesn't end up coming due to i believe weather compl like complications so they become kind of like friends and they have this instant chemistry and they decide to spend the night together but they are not allowed to tell each other their names or anything like that let me just tell you this was explosive I loved it it was excellent I could not put this down I read it in one sitting so freaking good five stars if I had to recommend a novella this would definitely be the one because you could just feel the chemistry coming off the page 
loved loved this one all right so i'm gonna hop right into it this is book one after the novella and it's called poking around it is a why choose polyamorous relationship it is mel or it's m f m m i always get those letters mixed up it is so good this was a six star read for me absolutely loved it it's a sports romance hockey there's the drama the intensity and really that open communication of being in a first time polyamorous relationship and a same sex relationship for a lot of them it is definitely what they called in the book your gay awakening and i really loved how it was handled and discussed so good the smut scenes were off the charts excellent we have Caleb, who is our broody hero. We have Jake, who is our bubbly teddy bear. And we have um, Amari, who is our foreign love cuddle buddy, who speaks in a different language to his love. And I think this story was so good. I loved how they were in sports and how it was connected. And it was just so freaking good. Like, I was here for it. It was like a soap opera. And I literally could not put it down until I got to the end. Loved it. Six stars. I highly, highly recommend this book. If you love polyamorous relationships and watch Hughes and Spice and sports romance, so good. Loved it. And to continue, I read the 1.5 novella after this, which is called Pucking Every After. And this is six chapters in different points of their happily ever after. And I really loved it. I thought it was so endearing. Got to see like some fun moments of them picking out ice cream. And if you've read the book, you know what that means. And them going on a plane and them just living their little happily ever after. Thought it was so cute. I really like don't want to give it a rating because it is just six chapters. But for me, in my heart, it was a five star. I loved seeing that kind of wrap up and to see just them living their day to day normal lives. I thought it was super, super cute. And I highly suggest these books. Definitely start with the prequel novella, book one, 1 1.5, and book two just came out, and I'm currently reading it. So good. Emily, the author, did amazing, and I cannot wait to read more from her. Okay, and the last book that I read in the month of August was Reckless Refuge. That's book four in the Rex series by Catherine Cowles. I ended up giving this one four stars. This one was really good. Um, I really didn't know who to expect for our hero and our heroine in this. And this follows our heroine who is completely reclusive, lives on a different island, and is a housekeeper for this family. Well, the family ends up selling the house and a new um, owner comes in and it happens to be our hero who is in the art industry, kind of really trying to revamp himself after a tragedy and then we have our heroine who has had a very very dark past please make sure that you check your trigger warnings for this one I was shocked whenever I read this but it was so good she has really dealt with the tragedy and you know why she's so reclusive and why she does the job that she does and is the way that she is and just them two melded together it was beautiful I loved their friendship aspect. I loved the suspense aspect. This was probably one of my favorite suspense in the Catherine Cowles world because I was like, this is good. Did not expect this. And I really loved the story, the romance. It was just so cute. I just love small town romance. There's so much to love about it four stars and this gave a great lead up into book five which is Hunter's book which I'm going to plan on reading in the month of September. So excited to finish up this rec series and my backlist for Catherine Cowles. And those are the seven books that I read in the month of August. Let me know what books you read in the month of August. If you've read any of these, let's have a conversation down below. As always, thank you guys so much for watching today's video and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye! Thank you.